by the channel. This is Pick a Card. What do you need to know right now? What's going on? Whether that's love, career, finance, whatever the situation is, what do you need to know? Let's go ahead and find out. Pile 1 is going to be that deck. Pile 2 is going to be using this deck. And Pile 3, this deck right here. What do you need to know? Let's get started. Okay, Pile 1. What do you need to know? Personal readings are available. Information is down below in the description area. Pile 1. Um, okay, infinite possibilities. There's a contract coming in. You could have some arguments, disagreements. Let's take a look here. Pay attention to your thoughts. There is something that's coming in. It could be somebody sneaky. Let's take a look. Wow. You do have some love situation, a birth of a new idea. Somebody may actually be coming in. They may not be quite sure with what they want. They want to plant the seeds of a relationship, okay? For some, I feel this is love. For others, it could be business. But there is something here with a love affair. Somebody could be fighting over a certain situation here. There could be a third-party situation. What you need to know, it's right here. There is a committed contractual agreement here. There's something here that somebody is definitely fighting over a contract, okay? And it is over a love situation, could be Gemini involved, but there is some love coming. I do feel that you do have a, um, a wish fulfillment, but you need to pay attention today. There's growth and prosperity, but where do you want to take this relationship here? Some of you here, you do have the birth of something new. There is going to be a new relationship coming in, or you're going to rekindle this relationship. Somebody's been watching you here. Somebody's been coy. Somebody is envisioning something that's going to be quite successful, but I do feel that you have a watcher, a stalker, or somebody else outside of this relationship that's interfering with this relationship. Somebody can't make up their mind. It's right here. So should you stay? Should you go? There is a lot of energy here. You have growth. You have abundance. You have a birth of new ideas. You do have a connection with somebody. Somebody's interfering. They could just be nosy, or it could be a third-party situation. Whatever the situation is, you are going through a major transformation here, so you're going to make a decision. If you're going to move forward in the month of January, you may not. Some of you may, some of you may not move forward in this relationship. Okay, you do have romance, you have a lot of lust, you have a lot of inspiration, ideas, the home. There's somebody here that may want out of a relationship. There's something here that's on fire, it's passion, but somebody's wearing different colors, a coat of many colors, okay? This is the chameleon. They're on again, off again. Could be narcissist. Could be this person acts this way. Then when they're around a group of people, they act another way. Whatever the situation is, it's more physical, not emotional. To answer your question here, there's a lot of romance here. It does come with lovers. So again, it could be maybe somebody seeing more than just one person. Whatever the situation is, it's outside the home sector. So universe is saying be very committed to yourself and be a little idealistic here. There's a lot of enthusiasm here. There's a lot of influence. There's third-party situations here. We do have somebody that is not telling the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Either you can't make up your mind or somebody else can't. You have a lot of fire and a lot of passion with this relationship. Something's coming full circle here. There is something that's a gift from the universe. A rejection is a universe's protection here. Somebody is moving forward. Somebody's going to be idealistic on that relationship. Take your power back. Somebody stepping in to help you with that. It could be a new love. You have a new partnership with companionship. Could be business too. Maybe you can't make up your mind if you should uh, quit this job and go to another job or whatever the situation may be. You need to be practical, deeply rooted. How are you providing for yourself and your family? It's right here. Okay. So they're asking you, you've been thinking about it, but you do need to take your power back. Okay. Whatever this depression or sadness or disappointment was, it's really interfering with your business. I'll put it that way. With your money, with your income, with your job. It could be just about a job. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what your money situation is here. But there is something here to answer your question. Yes, um, there is a contract coming in. You're going back and forth with that situation. Go with what feels good in your heart space, in your head space. Um, you don't need to be a people pleaser here. Whatever the situation is, some of you do have somebody who's cheating, who's not doing something they're supposed to be doing. And uh, they're trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Or you are. You're doing it or this person's doing it to you. Somebody here needs to make a major decision and get realistic with it. Okay. So you are protected. Universe says you are protected. You have everything that you need at this time. And you're destined to do what feels good for you. Not destined to be with that person. Not destined to be with that position of job. You're destined to learn this situation here. So what are you learning from it so you can get your own answer so you can move forward? Because you are going through a transformation. It is awkward. It's uncomfortable. But it's honest and realistic. Let's go on to pile two. 
Okay, pile two that chose this deck here. What do you need to know? You've had some questions, so what do you need to know from spirit, from universe? Archangels, ancestors, what do you need to know? Truth shall be revealed. Okay, that's what I just heard. You have the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. When you make a decision to move forward on a certain situation here, you have a lot of success. What you need to know. What you seek, seeks you. Okay? There's a lot of action here going on. We have the Eight of Wands. There's a lot of action. Pay attention to your emails, your phone, your text. Travel. You should be traveling. There could be traveling. I also have the Wheel of Fortune here. So anything you touch is the Midas touch. You do have the Wheel of Fortune, which is bringing in quite a bit of success and abundance. I have the Knight of Wands. I have the Eight of Wands. I have the Two of Wands. Boy, you're leveling up. You're at a crossroads on certain situation. Love, business, career, whatever the situation is for you, but you're at a crossroads. Something's moving in rather quickly here. You're getting an offer. You end up with a Ten of Cups, which is powerful, okay? So all these cups are filled. It's good communication. You also have the Wheel of Fortune, which turns in your favor. You also have an offer coming in here, right? Beautiful. Money. Some of you are getting an offer with a job. You're not quite sure if you should take it. Honestly, you really should because there could be travel long distance. You could be relocating here. The offer is on fire. It's good for you. You have a lot of fire. I have a lot of water here. So there's something here that's telling you it's emotional. You're passionate. But you're not quite sure. You could have excitements, your highs and your lows. Sometimes you're like nervous about it. Sometimes you're just like, I'm just going to do it. And then you second guess yourself. Whatever the situation is, you end up with a Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. You're not going to get any better than that. This is quite quite successful if I have to say the word destined you're destined to be in this position right place right time whatever that is for you you have the king of swords somebody's coming in with authority could be a legal situation if you're doing legal divorce papers documents whatever the situation is could be a win it could literally be a lot of win okay I'm not talking millionaire I'm talking about maybe you win a couple hundred thousand maybe you just win ten thousand maybe you win five hundred dollars whatever the situation is it's a win for you okay it's more than what you've got and so whatever the situation is, there is legal here. There's judgment here. There's authority, somebody taking charge of a situation, somebody that wanted to take a job. This one's better for you because you're going to level up. This person's giving somebody here a promotion. For whoever this is for, this is, you're getting a promotion. You're getting leveled up in a situation. The offer is here. It's on the table. Do you want it or not? If you walk away, you're going to be sorry you did, okay? And you're thinking about it with the Virgo, with the Hermit. <clears throat> You have the Six of Cups. I'm telling you, this is good communication skills. The burdens are going to be released. It's something that was a burden. There's forgiveness here, too. You can see the cross inside the heart, inside the cup. There's a lot of burdens of love of communication. Okay? And so something here is being justified for you. So take the offer. Um, you know, there's the Three of Coins. So that's something that's celebration. It's good for you. you. You have all the tools that you need. You really work in it. You've worked very hard. You're going to be deserving. If you've been applying for something and you're not getting a response, it's not happening for you because this is over here. Whatever this is right here, they're telling me three weeks to, uh, to 30 days. So basically three to four week window. Something's manifesting here in your favor. By January, you're going to be in a better position. Whatever this is with love, there is an offer coming in. There's a severance of ties, but you're supposed to release whoever this is. It's causing you a lot of burdens. So in January, you can actually start to heal. I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to move on to pile three. Okay, Pile 3 that shows this deck right here. Pile 3, what do you need to know? You had questions, what do you need to know? <clears throat> Just because something's not happening at the time that you want, you think it's taking too long or it's not happening or it hasn't happened yet, universe knows they have things to get together. Okay, not everything's going to happen overnight is what they're saying. They heard your prayers, they're going to be answered. <laughs> Look at you at crossroads, literally fell out. You don't believe, you just don't believe. Because nothing worked for you before, why would it work now? Something definitely is ending, or something needs to end. Okay, be true to yourself. You're protecting yourself. You're shielding yourself. You have that new moon in the back, though. You have new moon, new beginnings. You're at a crossroads. You're not even seeing. You've got the blindfold on. Perhaps maybe you refuse to see. Or, honestly, you just don't. But you're going through a major transition right here, okay? There's a death, not a physical death. It means something's done. 
you're at a crossroads, you're not accepting it. It's over, okay? Because it needs to be. Because something else is coming your way. When this ends, the butterfly, right? The little caterpillar now has its wings and he needs to fly. You cannot stay as a caterpillar forever. You either turn into a butterfly or you cease to exist, okay? So that's what they're saying. You must accept what is no longer. And you're drinking from the common cup anyways. You have the queen of cups. So you're going through a transition, okay? You're changing. Communication is coming in. You've accepted an offer over here, whatever that is, business and or love for you. Look at that. You hold the world in your hands. It's difficult. You're scared. You're frightened. You may be ticked off, whatever the situation is, but you, you're going through a transition. It's going to be okay. It doesn't feel like it, but it is. And you have the cup right here, okay? You have the world right here. What else could you ask for? You have everything that your heart desires once you let something go, okay? And that's what, that's what the answer is to your question is if it's not working for you, why are you still there? And now you look at you. You have the two of rods, you have the three of rods, and you have the ace of rods. So you made the right choice especially by February you're holding the world in your hands you have everything that you possibly could want you do have a lot of success you have ships coming in you've waited for this you're finally like wow I don't know why I didn't do this sooner why did I hang on so long and you have blessings with the ace of rods abundant success happiness this is a yes too by the way um, for whatever you're asking you do get a yes on something here with communication it could be with love as well but where you're at is not working and you know this so once you let that go there you are with the Queen of Swords taking charge of the situation. I do feel probably towards the end of December going into the first week of January, somebody's just going to cut the cords. Either they're cutting them from you, bye-bye, or you're cutting from them and you're letting them go. Okay, Something here is ending. It's good communication that's coming in once this is gone. Wow. Okay. Well, there it is. X marks the spot, literally. Okay, so something that was very, it could have been a love situation, third party, or it's just, you know, you've been in it for a while, up to eight years, on again, off again. Somebody was at a long distance. I keep hearing Florida. Um, so somebody could have been in a, a relationship that was out of state, or it was just not working. You were with them, then you weren't with them. And then it works for a minute, and then it goes back to the same old, same old. Well, the Queen of Swords is like, look, I'm not doing that. That's why I'm the Queen. I am taking my sword. I'm not going to be frightened anymore, whatever it is. And it could be a job for some of you. Whatever the situation is that broke my heart or just was a disappointment and just didn't work out for me, I know that it's ending. I'm going to go ahead and drink the Elixir of Life success, in other words, because I'm promised that right here, and I am the Queen, and I am going to take action. Just how much longer are you going to wait, right? So that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Take care.